This is a uh, pretty long and detailed video about Avid for uh, my friend Queen McGee, I hope I, I'm saying that correctly, who asked me a couple of questions about Avid. So I decided to go into detail and instead of replying by typing, which would take me a long time and I'm not sure I'm getting the question right, what I'm going to do is make a video, a screen capture and let him know, you know, what he's doing wrong, what he's doing right. So in the question um, he asks, and I hope he doesn't mind that I'm reading his question here, I was wondering when I tried to do an extend edit, I set my ins and outs around the blank space I want to fill and I hit the extend edit key. But so far I've only been able to get a clip that's closest to my out mark, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is my out mark, to extend back. What if I want a clip that is at my in mark to extend forward? I haven't been able to do that. Does that question make sense? Uh, sort of. I'm going to figure it out in a second. Like I said, an in and out lift, but I want the clip 1 to extend forward into clip 2. So far when I hit the extend edit, only clip 2 extends backward to clip 1. Also, when I render an effect, I set my drive to be my external. I have a drive dedicated for just Avid projects. Do the render files go inside the MXF folder? So let's start with the easy part first, which is this question right here. Where do the uh, render files go? Yes, they do go to your um, to that folder. I'm glad you have your own dedicated drive. I also do have my own drive. So if you want to see the renders, if they're taking up too much space or you want to manipulate them in any way, go uh, to your media tool and it will present you with all your projects and um, the drives. So just select whatever project you want. Um, for example, in, in this one, YouTube vids, I have a lot. And here you can add, you know, master clips, pre compute clips, and media files. These are your render files. Um, so we get rid of master clips here. We don't want to see them. Just click OK, and the media tool will show all your pro all, all your files here. These are all the render files. There are lots of them. So here you can do whatever you want. You can select them, you can edit them. See, you, you can edit them right there. And yes, they are directly on your um, on the drive that you selected for here it's on my Vermont drive. I name I named the drives after US states, I'm kinda dorky. So yeah, you'll go to Avid Media Files, MXF, and then to the typical folder one. Creating is usually completely empty, but here you have all of them. But sometimes it's kinda hard to see which one's which. So uh, I just prefer using the media tool. I just find it easier. So just go to Tools, Media Tool, and you will find everything you need there. All right, so about the other question, it's about Extend Edit functions. Um, now, I'm going to try to see if I, if, I, if I figure it out correctly. Now, what you have to bear in mind is that every editor, as you probably know, has a different way of doing things. So this might or might not be the best way to do it. This is what works for me. And then sometimes, you know, people don't get my ways, but it's what works for me. So if this works for you too, that's great. You can also try to figure out different ways. Um, the extend edit, I have it um, mapped to my keyboard. Um, I use it so, so much that I, that I have it here on P extend. This is a, the natural layout of uh, Avid uh, News Cutter. Um, but it's not really for Media Composer. I had to reset everything, but I used this so much that I remapped it to here to letter P. Um, or you can have it over here in one of the buttons. Uh, you know how to get that. Control 3 or just go to, uh, to the command palette right here, Control 3. And you'll find it here under Trim. It's the extent, but you already probably know all this. So this is for people who probably don't know this so they can follow in the video. So this is the extend. Um, I'm going to put it Right, let's see, um, quick transition, I'm going to get rid of this one, just for now, because I'm used to using the keyboard, so I want you to see what I'm doing, instead of just typing, because I'm just used to typing. Uh, I'm going to sit on my left hand so that I don't type by accident. So uh, here, Naomi allowed us to use some of her clips to check out what um, how we're going to do this. So basically we have two cuts, cut number one, cut number two, and cut number one again. So um, we have these three clips, and uh, this is just for um, for testing purposes. But I mean, yeah, I just grabbed them from different videos. If we play them, all right, you can see them playing normally. 
Okay, so what I am guessing, um, it's that uh, you, for instance, want to extend a certain clip uh, back or forward. I'm not sure. So um, maybe the easiest way to do that would be the uh, trim tool, which I don't particularly like. I don't like the trim tool. I actually hate it. So basically to do that, just select the channels you're going to work on, video one um, and the audio channels. Um, and you can go to the uh, trim mode. And here you know how to do that, right? You can either trim both sides at the same time, or you can just choose one side and extend it by frames or by 10 frames or whatever it is you want. Or, you know, you select both of them by select, um, I, I never use a trim tool, but uh, like that, and you have two of them. You can just, uh, if you start trimming, it will cut this part right here. So it's not only extending it, but it cuts. It gives this one eight frames and it removes eight frames from this one. But I'm guessing that's not your question. I'm guessing your question has more to do with just extending um, a certain clip. So um, the easiest way to do that, let's say that I want this clip right here to extend over this one. So I want clip number one to finish here and for this to go away. Now there's several ways to do that. Let's, let's do it the slowest but simplest way. First, you add an edit, okay, right there at the point where you want to uh, get rid of it. So let's add an edit. See, so Avid just cut it right here. You place your position here, and then you mark in and out. You can either go like this, or you can, what I usually do is, I by holding Control, I click near to this, and it will snap into place. So I'll just click in there, and then I click there, I go back one frame and I set an out mark. It's the same thing. For me, it works faster that way, but most people prefer to the, me the method of just in out or T, which, well, sometimes I use it too. To lift it, you can type Z. It will lift it out. And now you have this space that's blank. So let's, let's get rid of the in and out marks. Now you got this space. So you want this uh, clip to extend all the way here. What I would do is um, select again, mark in and out. And what you do is you get rid of the in mark. Okay, so type D to get rid of the in mark. So now Avid knows that without an in mark, it knows that it has to extend until the out mark. Then you go extend and it extends it. Okay. So maybe that's what you want. It works the other way too. If, if on the other hand, if you want this clip to extend this way, what you do is the same thing. Let's get rid of the marks again. You place your position here, by, again by control snapping into it, control click snaps into it. In mark, no out mark. Remember, there's no out mark here. And then extend, and it will bring this one back here. It doesn't necessarily have to have a blank space. We can we can also do it without the space. So let's get rid of the marks. Again, let's bring this clip, let's uh, extend it over here. So you just need an out mark, extend, and it extends it. Again, out mark, extend. Or it works, it works uh, back. Get rid of the out mark, in, extend, in, extend. It's the very same thing. When you are trying to do it by placing both marks in and out, and then hitting an extend, it you know it brings it back. But if you want this one to go that way, the first to go that way, it it doesn't know how to do it. So let's uh, let's see that we want to get rid of this one and bring this one all the way in and eat just this entire clip. Remember. Let's get rid of both marks. What I do is snap and then go back one frame. Snap and go one frame back. Um, I usually just use a keyboard. So one frame back, then you set an out, and then you extend. So what do we need the, um, the out frame um, right there? It's because when you control snap, see where it places the, uh, the frame? It places it right there. So if you control snap, it won't work. You have to go back one frame. 
then click out and then extend. See, I'm using the keyboard without even knowing it. I knew I couldn't help myself. So now it just goes all the way, da 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 da, -da all the way to this part. So I hope I hope that's the question. I hope I answered it properly. Um, so clip one extends forward into clip number two, and that's that's it. Okay. And just so you know, it also works for things like um, let's create really quickly a title tool. Uh, I have a title here. It works the same way with a title. If you have it like here, you can extend. If it's only this channel you have selected, you can extend it like that. Same way. Well, I hope this works.